Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create Brevo email campaign from WordPress post. So here my objective is that every time a new post is published on WordPress, which is a popular website builder, then automatically with the details of this new post, an email campaign should be created in Brevo, which is an email marketing tool. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be WordPress and my action application will be Brevo. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks so that you can test all these automations yourself. Now, once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's this tab create workflow. Click on this and this dialog box has appeared here. So here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to create Brevo email campaign from WordPress post. Here I'm going to click on create. So as we do that here, you can see we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this or when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you receive a notification through SMS about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen? With the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action is the SMS sending application. Now, once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be WordPress. Let's click on this. Then comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new post published. Now, as we do that, you can see here we have received a webhook URL. Now, this URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and WordPress. So here I'm going to copy this URL and now we have to follow the following help text given. Please read this carefully. Now, let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this here is my WordPress account. Now, within this, you have got plugins. So here in plugins, go to add new. Now, here you have to search for WP webhooks. So... Here is WP webhook and you can see here that this has already been installed in my system. So this is already active. So what you have to do first, you have to install and activate the plugin. Once this is done, then you have to go to settings. So here as I scroll down, we have got settings. Let's click on this and within this, we have to go to WP webhooks. Now, as we reach here, we have to go to send data. Now here in send data from the left sidebar, we have to select post created. So this here is post created. Now here I'm going to click on add webhook URL. Now you have to name your webhook. So let's say the name is WP123. And now here you have to paste the URL that you have just received and click on add for post create. So once this is done, now here this URL that we have just added, which is WP123, here we have to go to the three dots, go to the settings. Now trigger on selected post types. So here you have to select post. Now trigger on initial post status change. Here we have to select published. And once this is done, now you have to scroll down and click on save settings. So here we can see that the settings have been saved. So once this is all done, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Now here we can see it is saying once we have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So taking you back to WordPress, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new post. So here within post, we are going to click on add new. And now here I'm going to add a new post. First of all, we have to give a title. So here I'm going to write integration demo post. Now this here is the title. Here we have to add a description. So I'm going to write, this is just a test description. 
okay so when you are creating a post of course you can create a post with an appropriate title and the description now as i take you down so here we have to got the custom fields then we have the author here we have limit access to the content to users of the selected roles you can do that then we have the wish list member and we have got rest of the details let's come to the right hand side so here we have the format so this is a standard format i do not have any image or links to be added so i have selected a standard format then we have the category so i have selected uncategorized now when you're creating a post you can select the categories from this list then we have the tags so here i'm going to write new post tag okay so this is just a random name that i have given here i have selected add and once i have added all this information click on apply settings so you can see it is saved then go above and here we have to click on publish so as we do that here we can see that our new post has been published and now i'm going to take you back to public connect to see if we have received the response here and yes the response has been captured here so what have we received so here you can see we have received new post tag here we have the name of the tag then as i take you down here we have the name of the category here we have got the permalink then again as i take you down here we have received the name of the post which is integration demo post then we have the created date and time here we have received the description and this here is the post kit now once we have received this information with this i want to create an email campaign in brevo so here i'm going to select my action application as brevo let's click on this so the action event here will be to create an email campaign here i'm going to click on connect so here you can see public connect wants to connect with brevo account here i have selected add new connection now to set up this connection we need the domain and the api key so the domain has already been captured for the API key, first you have to log into your Brevo account. I have done that. And then just click on this SMTP and API page and you will be directed to the page. Now here, generate a new API key. Let's say the name of this key is key123. And here I'm going to click on generate. As we do that, here we have received the key copied. And now I'm going to paste the same here. Let's click on save. So once this is done, we can see that Brevo and Public Connect are properly integrated. Now here we have to enter the campaign name. And I want the name of the campaign to be same as the name of the post. And that we had received here in the above step. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this. You can see the previous step and the response here. So as I scroll down, this here is the title. Now I want to name the campaign with the name of the title. So once we have done that, then we have senders field. So here you can either choose an email or ID. So here I'm going to go ahead with the email address and now the senders field value. So I'm going to enter the senders field value. So here I have entered the email address with which I have created this account. Next we have the senders name. So here I'm going to write Pabli connect and then we have the tag. So we can map the tag. So I'm going to again go here and as I take you down, so here we have this tag name. Now this method with which I've added the information here and here is known as mapping. This is important so that every time your workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Let's say that I had written this manually. In that case, it would have become static, which means then it wouldn't have changed even when you had received a new information. So to avoid that, we map the information. Next, we need the campaign content type. So we have selected HTML content, campaign content value. So here I am going to go to step one. And as I take you down, first of all, I'm going to enter the title name, which is integration demo post. And then I'm going to enter the description. Now, when you're creating a post on your own, you can add whatever fields you wish to. And then we have the scheduled at. Now here we have to mention the scheduled date and time for the campaign. For this, I'm going to go up. Here I'm going to add an action step. And now here I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is date time formatter. And with this I'm going to fetch the current date and then modify the same. So here we have modify current date. Let's click on connect. 
So once this connection is set, now here we have to fill in this information. First of all, the date format. So it is very well mentioned here that the date has to be written exactly in this format, which is year, month, date. Then we have the time, which is hour, minutes and seconds. So here I'm going to select the same format. I'm going to click on this. This here is the format. Now the time zone. Now here we have to select the time zone, which is supposed to be in the UTC timing. So here I have selected the same. Now here, what do I want? Now when you want to send an email, no. Now when you wish to schedule an email campaign, you can select after how many days or minutes or hours you want to schedule this. This is just a test case. So I am going to select the unit as minutes and I'm going to select the value here as three minutes. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we have received the response. So where we have received the current date and time, which is three minutes ahead of the present time. And once this is done, let's go back to Brevo here. I'm going to set up this connection once again using the existing connection. And once this is done, now let's scroll down. And here we have to enter the scheduled date and time. So I'm going to click on this, go to step two, and we have mapped the information. Next is the subject. So here I'm going to write new post alert. Since this is not going to change, I have just written this manually. Then we have preview text, reply to, to field, exclusion list IDs, and then we have the list ID. Now, when I'm creating an email campaign, I wish this email to be sent to a particular list of people. For this, I'm going to take you to my Brevo account. Now here, I'm going to take you to contacts. Within contacts, I have created a few lists. Let's check that. So here you can see we have got different lists. Now let's say that I want to send this email to this particular list wordpress post so here we have the list number which is 43 so i'm going to take you back to public connect and here i'm going to enter the list number then we have the segment id attachment url so if you have any particular url to be attached you can use that here then we have the inline image activation mirror active header footer utm campaign send at best time a B testing, etc. Now these fields are not mandatory. So I'm just going to leave them like this and click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response. So we have received the campaign ID, which is 37. So I'm going to take you back to Brevo and here let's go to campaigns. Now let's go to email. And you can see that integration demo post. This has been scheduled. This is the number. This is the ID. And this has been scheduled for this date and time. So this means our integration here is a complete success. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to WordPress. And here I'm going to take you to add new post. Okay, so Pabli Connect Automation. So this here is the title. Then let's give a description. So, so here I have written, this is an extremely interesting and useful automation software to integrate different applications. Then here we have got rest of the fields. Now again, I'm going to add the format, which is standard. Let's say the category here is email marketing. And then we have the tag. So here I'm going to write new post. Okay, let's click on add. And once this is all done here, I'm going to click on apply settings. And now here I'm going to click on publish. So as soon as this post is published, now what should happen automatically an email campaign should be created and should be scheduled. Let's go to Brevo. And here I'm going to quickly refresh this page. And here we can see that another email campaign has been created with the name Pabli Connect Automation. So this means that our integration is a complete success taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was WordPress where the event was new post published. Then our action application was first a feature by Pabli, which is date time for matter. This was to modify the current date. And our final action application was Brevo where we had to create an email campaign. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. 
If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.